hello there so I'm explaining you what is compiler and a little bit inter interaction about that in simple terms that's all nothing else so so before learning what is a compiler so we will try to understand what is a computer so a computer is nothing but an electronic device we all know that we have studied from our school that computer is an electronic device so what do you mean by an electronic device that means something which runs on electrical signals right so so what is an electrical signal an electrical signal is something which comes like this or uh, <clears throat> some some signal something like this right so an electrical signal this these types of signals are called analog signals so we have some other types of signal called digital signals terms like this looks like this so let's not go deep into this so so computer can just un just can see these signals so basically computer can understand only two states that is a high state this or this and a low state this or this okay so computer can understand two things one is uh, if whether something is on or off right or whether uh, you have a high signal or low signal or in other terms we can call it whether it is zero or one so so now we understand like yeah so this is where this is why we call computer understands only binary language so so in short it is said that computer can understand only machine code so if you google the machine code for the meaning it says a computer programming language consisting of binary instructions which a computer can respond to directly <clears throat> so and for your information every computer or not computer you can say every machine different machines have different machine codes so so for a human a normal human if he wants to write a program if he wants to write a program in he wants to uh, he wants to do he wants to tell computer to do something right so he want if he wants to tell this computer to do some to to do one plus one and if he wants to tell this computer to do one plus one and these two are different machines so he has to write a different code for this computer and then different code for this computer so this guy will go mad so so there is a need for something else now right so always we cannot keep learning different machine languages and keep building different different programs for doing the same task so it's 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 of no use so so people were thinking about this and they came up with something like okay we want some program we want some language okay which which is very easily very very easily understandable by a human so then then they thought of this and then they came up with different programming languages in a human readable format called high level programming languages so high level language so okay now they have thought of something called a high level language but computer understands only this that is machine language right so we want someone in between to convert this high level language to machine language so here we get our hero compiler so this guy sitting in between he reads this high level language and converts into machine level language so 
So this is how the compiler came into existence. So we can say a compiler translates or compiles a programming language program written in a hue written in a high level programming language that is suitable for human programmers into the low level machine language that is required by computers so so why why did they do all these things like yeah i i explained you in the beginning so okay this guy is going <laughs> this guy will go mad right so 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 what are the, what are the real advantages of having a high level language or like we can program the way we think right normally when you think of a solution like one plus one uh, we 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 humans tend to think in a human way right we cannot think in some in a different way so so we tend we tend to think like humans and 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 if if we do something in a in a human thinkable format right so that will be very easy and uh, compilers can check for some errors for ex if we are writing wrong code so compilers can easily help us in telling okay there is some problem in your code and you have to rewrite it or you have to check for the bugs or check for some errors and high level programming languages will obviously take less time to write compared to low level languages because we know that right so so writing a program which looks something like this into writing a program something like if a equal to b then do c right so this is more obvious i mean th this is very easy to write than writing this so and the major advantage is that same program can be used in different machines so so this compiler which knows the machine language can convert the same high level language into into that particular machine's language so if a programming language is something like that we call it machine independent so so but always the song is not beautiful without ups and downs so we have some disadvantages of high level language as well so it takes more time to compile and run when compared to the code written in machine language so if we if we are writing any critical applications if you are writing if you are writing a code for heart surgery or if you are writing a code for um, landing an airplane which is time critical so it is better to go for a machine code so instead of writing it in your code and changing it to machine code so it takes time where it, where you have time where your time is very critical where you have to finish the tasks in half a second milliseconds so it's better to go and write something in machine code or we have a uh, alternative low level languages which takes really less time when compared to the high level languages so a low level language is something which can which which uh, uh, looks like this move r1 comma 5 and move r2 comma 6 and uh, add r1 r2 so this is this is a low level language so what it does is like there are there are registers in computer so you just move the value 5 into the register 1 and value 6 into the register 2 and then you're telling the computer to add these values so these are some low level languages so 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 just don't worry about all the things so just have this so just just think what, what computer can understand and what humans can understand so there is a gap between what computer can understand and what human can understand so there we want something to fill the gap and to have, make a bridge over there so we use a compiler so that is that simple and compiler design is an awesome subject you are going to love it thank you have a nice day smile always oh this guy you know smiling yeah <laughs> bye bye